Hello. 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 My name is Ni. S L N Y I, and it rhymes with Ni. I've thought about getting on YouTube for a while. There are both pros and cons to having a YouTube channel and just putting videos like this there. I don't remember where I found this term. It was either through uh, another YouTube video or maybe through a book. I learned the word network individualism and I think they were explaining how the way we socialize has become different over time so previously um, people live uh, in more tightness spaces they don't travel that much they were born and die in the same village or in the same town right so that's a very small network you know everybody around you you go to the same church or you belong to the same religious institution it was the kind of socializing that's based on the the geophysical um, arrangement of people but you know through the ages we have airplanes we have the internet so people have moved everywhere now we don't know the neighbors who live on the same streets as us or who lives across from us contemporary day humans we we're not socializing according to these set geophysical communities but the way we socialize is more spread um, spread out because of the internet so for example maybe you belong to a Facebook group that talks about photography but then you might uh, be a part of um, a Reddit group that's about the Warhammer games so I think that's what the other man when he was when they were explaining the term network individualism. Putting a video out like this, putting yourself out there, to me that's a way of attempting to be a part of a community because when you put yourself out there Maybe some people will see this video and they will think, okay, this is not interesting and maybe they're right. But for some people, people who are more like me, they will think, okay, I can relate to these points that this guy is talking about in this video and maybe I'll write a comment. And I, and I think that's how communities are made. I'm not trying to establish any community per se. Uh, I just want to get to know more people. One of the reasons being is that in the past three years or two years, I've moved uh, across different countries twice. So in May 2022, I moved from one country to another. I was working remote at the time, so I was already working remote. When I moved countries that year, that didn't affect my working life because I could still work for the same company, even in the new um, place that I was in. But then last year, nearly a year ago in March 2023 I moved again I'm glad to have some family members and some relatives where I am but when you move like that several times within a short span 
that impacts a lot of your lives, your social lives, um, your friend circles, your family, and uh, I want to make more friends where I am now, but for me, I feel like it's not just a matter of making new friends in the new physical space that I'm in, but making friendships online because the internet is a place that doesn't go away, right? Like, no matter where you are, you can still be connected to the internet. So if you have a sense of belonging within an internet community, you're there, you're connected to it, whether you're in one country or in another. So I want to use YouTube as a tool for me to grow and to find new friends. Um, I don't need to reach a million people. I don't need to reach a thousand or even a hundred people. I just need um, people who are like me, maybe 10 or 20. As long as I can connect with those 10 or 20 people, I think that's already a lot because how many close friends can we really have in our lives, right? So another thing that I wanted to do was to get more comfortable with speaking, with communicating and with just being myself. So that's this um, meme that I saw with the Buddha in the meme and it shows the Buddha preaching to a few of his followers and the, 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 the text in the bubble says once you accept the cringe within you you are free to be yourself or something along those lines and that does resonate with me a lot um, because it, it does take some form of courage to put yourself out like this, right? Well, the truth is um, when I'm making this video pretty much almost everything is under my control um, I can control the background um, the clothes I'm wearing the angle of the camera what I'm going to say, how I'm, I'm going to say it I can say it as many times as I want I have the ability to modify or customize everything up until the point when I hit the publish video button so it does give me a lot of um, power in representing myself right so that brings the question off is this the real me is the knee that you see in a video the real knee that you'll see in real life? To be honest, I think that question is, is a wrong question because there's no such thing as the real you. What is the real you? Is it the person that you are when you're alone? Or the person that you are when you're with your family? Or with your close friends? or in front of your employer we all behave differently based on the based on who we are with right i'm not going to act the same in front of my parents um the way i behave in front of my employer and i think that's that uh, there's nothing wrong with that um but when you get too fixated on the concept of authenticity, I think it becomes limiting. When I'm 
alone, I might, for example, fart, uh, I might be naked, right? But do you want me to fart in front of you or be naked in front of you just so that you can see the real me? Probably not, right? So you will probably expect me to behave um, based on the context that you and I are meeting. My point is, what's my point? So everything is a construct. This, the need that you see in this video, that's also a construct. I have the power to change everything, fix everything. When I'm editing this video, when I'm setting up this video, until I hit the publish button, right? So I think the question of authenticity is a very tricky question, but think of it this way instead. This need that you see is a possible incarnation of all the possibilities out there, right? There are a thousand different ways I could have presented myself for a video like this. Um, right now, I'm wearing my pajamas, or I usually wear at home, but I could have put on a jacket, I could have put on a sweater, um, I could have done this in a different background, maybe in front of a bookcase, uh, and even when I'm editing this video, I could edit this in several ways. And so the question of authenticity is, I think it's a misguided question, understandably misguided question. So what exactly am I saying? Okay, uh, I'm making this video as a way to put myself out there um, to meet like-minded people to to get a sense of belonging within the internet space I'm looking forward to make new friends I'm also doing this um, as a way to get more comfortable with myself it's gonna be cringe to um, edit this video because I'll be seeing my own face and hearing my voice again and again it will be cringe but I want to do that I'm, I'm not gonna um, show some random footage while just adding the narration on top because I want to embrace myself metaphorically. I don't want to be embarrassed or shy about putting myself out there. I, I, I get people who like vintage technologies and whatnot, but uh, at the same time, um, you know, I think we all should embrace the technology of our, of our times and just see what we can do with them. What kind of videos am I going to make? I don't really know to be honest. There are a few things I'm interested in, so filmmaking is one of them. Literature. Um, I like reading poetry. Not all types of poetry, but some. And I, I, I like photography too. Recently I've been going to a fine arts library and just looking through all these um, books of photographs by photographers that are considered to be you know fine art photographers so I'll probably make a video about them at some point but I don't really know what kind of videos I'm gonna make so we'll see okay bye bye